Sometimes major surgery is required. Volvo gambled on keeping Rydell on the track with a water leak, but it didn't pay off. And now the team had to replace the wrecked engine. He radioed in first off that the water was up to 115, then radiating in its higher, and then the oil. And we just had to stay out because he might have made it. And as it did, he didn't make it by three quarters of a lap. So obviously that overheated the engine and caused the damage that necessitated the engine change. So uh, us making him stay out there has done that. If we'd have brought him in as soon as it overheated, it have, would have just been a new radiator. We have a built-up spare ready, and as you can see, the guys are putting the other one back in. It's in place, so we expect to be out for the next race. Yeah, it's unusual that uh, these things happen, don't they? Uncharted territory for the TWR team, led by race director Roger Silman. Reliability had been such that the only changes made previously had been in the comfort of the workshop. Well, that's almost finished. You can see the water going in now. Um, I think they started just over an hour ago, probably 62 minutes. I think that's extremely good. It's the first time we changed an engine in anger with this particular car. I think, uh, as usual, they've done an exceptional job. That's his first drop score, then. At the end of round one, we left Volvo desperately trying to change an engine in a little over two hours in order to get onto the track for round two of the championship. Well, the mechanics got the engine in. The question, would it start? Well, as long as it bursts into life in a moment, I think you can say it's been successful. We're just waiting for the water to be brought up to the correct temperature before they press the button. I think you'll hear the oil cranking for oil pressure now. In fact, the job was completed in just over an hour.